So this is project number two in the Penguin Place class kit. And as you know, you can always check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com to see what current class kit I'm offering as a customer reward with a qualifying purchase. Okay, so we have some stamping and some die cut, no, not die cutting, punching. Punching, and um, this is a pretty, this is a pretty simple card and it has that gorgeous snowflake there, which is awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll give the dimensions so you can, um, you can start making, you can make it along with us if you don't have the kit. So normally we would um, probably do some putting the card together, but today I think we should do our stamping first. So let's get our stamping together. Um, you have a piece of whisper, not whisper way. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'll ever get used to calling this basic white. It's uh, one, one and a quarter inch by five and one eighths. We're gonna be stamping our snow and then cutting it with scissors. <laughs> so you do have to have some, little, some scissors. Uh, we have some black that is, um, let me move this over. Two by four and a quarter. We'll be punching our little um, penguin. I'll tell you that later. We have a piece of basic white, three and three quarters by five, and it isn't horizontal card, so we'll be stamping on that. Don't need these right now. This is a piece of crushed curry, two by three. We'll be we'll be um, punching the little feet and we'll be cutting a nose. Uh, we have two pieces of one and a half by five and a half basic white. One is for stamping the hat and the scarf and one is for punching the penguin. So we'll put one in our punch pile, one in our stamp pile. And then inside here you will have two of these little labels. Um, hopefully you'll have two. I don't know where my other one is. It's in here, probably. They like to hide. Okay, <laughs> so hopefully I only need one. You should have two. Oh, there's the other one. Who knew, right? All right, so here's the other one. We'll be stamping season's greetings on that. So this other stuff we'll put away um, until we're ready to make our card. And this we're going to stamp on. This we're going to punch. But we'll punch that later. So we'll set that aside in our punch pile. So let's see, what should we stamp first? Um, well, let's get out our Stamparatus. Here. All right, so um, let's just do one thing at a time. We have the snow bank, which is this stamp right here. And I realized I didn't get it out of my, I had all the others ready to go, but I didn't get this one. So the snow bank is this one right here. And, um, we're going to stamp that in uh, misty moonlight. Isn't that a gorgeous color? I think that's becoming, fast becoming my favorite color. So I'm gonna put this here, and you know these are photopolymer stamps, so uh, I am going to tape this down because photopolymer stamps are sticky. All right. The thinner line is going to go up here at the top and the thicker line is going to go down at the bottom. So we're just going to, and this one is about a half an inch and then this one is, let me see, okay, 
here we go. This is what we have to do. Um, I had it wrong, guys. <laughs> All right, so the thicker line is right here on the hump. All right, and then this one is going to be about a half an inch there there it and it doesn't have to be like perfect perfect do i have i do i have the right one i don't i have i have the wrong one i have the i have the one that is one and a half by five and a half i need the one that is one and a quarter by five and one eighths that's why it's longer than um uh, then my stamp, I'm like, why is it not, why is the stamp not filling that out? So one and a quarter by five and one eighths. And that is, I think I did have it this way. All right, the thicker, the thicker one is down here. Yeah, that's the what that's the way it is. All right. <laughs> Thicker curve is down here. All right. So here we go. I'm going to pick that up. Don't want to be too close to the bottom there. Yeah, that is. So this one is about a half an inch cuz what we're going to do is we're going to reverse it. So it it make doesn't make sense. So this is like half an inch from there, and then this one is just don't do the anyway. <laughs> it'll make sense in a minute. All right, and I'm gonna put some more there. Sorry. So I'm gonna ink that up and stamp that on my one and a quarter by five and one eighths. And I'm probably going to have to do that twice to get a nice rich color. All right, there we go. And clean that off. Okay, so we're going to clean this off. And move along. So while we have this out, grab your scissors and you'll see why I had such a hard time deciding where it was going to go. Um, but I guess it really doesn't matter. But this is, see this is how I stamped it, but this is how I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors and we're going to cut just on that blue line. Remember I turned it upside down before I cut it because I wanted the hump up here. But it's going to look nice regardless of where your little hump is. <laughs> but we stamped it this way, we cut it that way, and that's how it's going to go on the... I'm going to take some of that blue off. So there's our snow bank. Yay. And next is we have our one and a half by five and a half. It's going to be for our hat and our little scarf. So here's our scarf and our hat. I don't know if I could do those together. I might be able to, and again, I'm going to tape that down because it's photopolymer. And midnight, mo moonlight, uh, moonlight, misty moonlight. <laughs> Alrighty, one more time. There's my misty moonlight. Now, I'm going to clean this off because I got some ink there. And when I move my magnets, they're going to, I'm going to get ink on my fingers. So I cleaned off that magnet there. Alrighty. 
we'll be fussy cutting those. Put those there. We'll do that later. Um, let's do our season's greetings. For that, we need our four by six plastic. Gonna take that down. And inside here is season's greetings. So we'll put that there. And then I'm also going to need this piece of scratch paper that I have put some stamp and seal on. And I'm going to stick that to it so that when I stamp this on here, like that, that tells me where that's going to stamp so I can slide this underneath. And it's a tight fit, but it does fit, so just work with it. Make sure you don't stamp on the uh, where it's perforated. And, I will, and make sure you have room for gems on the sides. Oops, I moved it. Darn it. Do that again. Okay, try not to move it this time. And tape that down so it doesn't move. Yep. Sticky photopolymer stamps. One more time. There we go. Season's greetings. Clean that stamp off. Making progress. So that's ready to go. Clean off my plastic. Now let's see, on the inside, we have, we're going to stamp the little penguin and his, his feet and mouth and antlers and then be cool, be chill, be merry. So we will be needing our four by six window sheet some more. Put that in the corner. Actually, I don't know that we need it to do our penguin. I think we can get our penguin pretty straight just by looking at it. And it's about a quarter of an inch from the bottom, a half an inch from the side, just like that. Hope that's straight. He looks straight. <laughs> Straight enough, straighten you up just a little bit. It's hard when it sticks to your fingers like it does. <laughs> oh goodness. All right, I think that's good enough. So pick that guy up. That's going to be in Memento Tuxedo Black. And if it's your first time using it, you might it you might need to season it because it um, might take a little bit. Let me move that over so it doesn't move. So, however many times you need to ink it up to get a nice solid color is fine. That's what's great about the Stamparatus. I could not do this without the Stamparatus, believe me. <laughs> Alright, so that's that's our penguin body. Clean that off. And it does make your stamps kind of brownish looking, but it doesn't affect their use, so don't worry about that. And then next, okay, so 
now we will need our plastic for the next part because we've got to place the feet and the mouth. So where is my plastic? Here it is. I'm going to put it down at the bottom because I want to be able to slide this underneath like this. So his little feet, these little feet right here, there's two of them together. I'm going to just kind of put them where I think they're going to I'm going to want to stamp them and make sure I'm going to tape that down, hopefully keep it from <laughs> moving. This time we're going to use um, crushed curry ink. So here's our crushed curry. This will show me where his little feet are going to stamp so that I can move this over and straighten them out. So cute. And I'm going to put this down here to keep this from rising up. And I am going to tape it. I'll tape it here, down here. Okay. Yeah, I use the um, Scotch removable tape so that, at least one more time. Now that looks splotchy right now, but it'll, it will dry smooth. All right, so let's clean off our plastic and our feet over here. Now we're going to do, may have to clean this off too, because it's kind of wet. Now we have to do the beak, and we're going to use this little beak up here. All right, not this one down here, but this one up here. Get our plastic again. Put it in place. And this is taped down. <laughs> so. So put our plastic down here. I'm using this line right here to um, to know where it's at, but I don't want it to move. So I'm gonna slide this underneath here. That's about where I want its little mouth, its beak. So pick that up. Stamp that. Gonna line his little beak up where I want it. There. Clean off this. Ink up my little beak. One more, I think. Okay, there's his little beak. So we're done with that. Clean off our stamp. What, what else? Okay, so here we have, uh, oh, we need to do the little antlers. Cute little antlers. Gonna do that in soft suede. So here's our antlers. Get our plastic. We couldn't do this without our plastic, I'm telling you. We could not get the blade placement that we want without our, our plastic. So we're going to want to put our antlers about right there. Tape that down. and get our soft suede. My 
soft suede's a little dry, I think, so. Okay, so that's about where I want it. I'm going to put these down and take that down. Clean off my plastic. Ink up my stamp. There's my little antlers. Clean that off. Let's do the sentiment, and then I think that will be all for our stamping. The sentiment is season's greet. No, um, the inside sentiment is be cool, be chill, be merry. I think that's so cute. Goes real well with our our little penguin. And hit this this one down here. Be cool, be chill, be merry. And again, we're going to put it down at the bottom our plastic down at the bottom because we're going to be stamping at the bottom. And that's about where I want it, right there. So I'm going to take that down because it wants to come up. Misty Moonlight. And line this up. Right there. That looks good. I'm going to move the plastic, take this down just because. <laughs> Clean off my plastic. Pick up my be cool, be chill, be merry. One more time. Awesome. <laughs> Such a cute card. All right. I think that's it for our stamping. Let me just check. Yep, that's it. And I can use this tape again because it's removable. So we'll clean off our stamp put our stamp apparatus away clear that away so we've already cut our snowbank so we're going to cut the hat and this and this is good if you just I'm going to cut right up to the color sometimes you can leave a little bit like with the hat, I think I left a little bit, but with this, I cut right up to the color. These are all straight, so it shouldn't be too hard to do this. Whoops. Okay. One more.
All right, so it's, there's the the um, scarf. Now we're going to do the hat, and the hat's not as hard as you might think. Now I did leave a little bit of white around the hat. Uh, one of the tricks is that you, instead of moving your scissors, move the paper. You see how I'm moving the paper? My scissors are staying in place. And I'm just moving that paper. There's our hat. Alrighty, so now we're going to do some stamping. I mean punching. <laughs> you got to punch the front guy here. So with our piece of um, basic black, we're going to punch the bigger body. So there's our the bigger part of the body. And with the white, we're going to punch the smaller part of the body. It's going to go there. And then for the feet, we're going to punch, I'm going to put my corner, quarter, corner in there, punch one foot and then other corner, punch another foot. So there's my two little feet. And then for the beak, I'm going to go over here to this corner and I'm going to cut um, in the center, like at, um, I guess that's a 45 degree. I'm going to cut towards the center. And then this part right here. I'm going to cut um, like that. And that's how I got the beak. And if you, um, if it's too big, like this is a little too big. So I'm just going to cut it a little bit more. And there's my beak. And it's a little bit like not straight across. I mean, tiny, tiny bit. But you know that will bother me so <laughs> and if you mess up you've got another corner over here and you can also use this one too if you need to do that but there's your beak so let's put this guy together let's um, put some glue on the back of it we don't need a lot and put it right here. Cutest little penguin. Easy to make. Darling little penguin. And then the feet. I don't know, should I put the feet, should I put the glue on the feet or <laughs> on there? I'm not sure. I know I get glue on my fingers. Now how you put his the feet is up to you. You can put them out or in. I kind of think they look cute kind of going in. Like so. You know, and they don't have to be perfect because they're actually kind of cute if they're not perfect. And then the beak, before we put the beak on, let's put the eyes on. In your envelope, you're going to find um, the snow flake, some twine, the two black eyes, and three small rhinestone basic jewels. Use my take your pick tool, and I'm going to 
put the eyes on. That'll help me to know where to put my beak. If I put my beak on first, it might look wonky when I add my eyes. So there's my eyes. I'll check them before I push it down good. Nothing worse than a cross-eyed penguin. Okay, so there, there's that. And then, so my nose is gonna go probably right about there. So I think I safe to say that I can put a dot there for its beak. Now we'll have a little bit of wiggle room. but not a lot and if it oozes out that's okay once it dries you can um, erase it with the adhesive eraser or um, just use a regular eraser okay so there's my little penguin and he gets a hat and scarf so let's put our scarf on there Tiny little dots, probably more than we need. Yeah, it, it's a good thing. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing his nose is not down further, because <laughs> it it would be in the way of his scarf. And I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna cut a little bit off the scarf to make it look like it's forming around his shoulder. Be careful not to cut the penguin. There we go. And then the hat. I think I'll put that on with the glue dot. Um, I, I don't think I want to try glue with the hat. So Oops, find my glue dot. I'll put it down towards the, the part that's gonna be on the head. There, he's so cute. Ta-da! And I've got <laughs> glue on my fingers now. All right, so I think we are ready to put it together. Um, so let's get our other things out. Not going to do anything with this quite yet. So I have a piece of uh, Misty Moonlight, five and one eighths by four and one eighth, five and three eighths by four and one eighth. And then I have a piece of DSP from Penguin. Playmates, I think, five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. Five and one eighths by three and seven eighths. It's gonna go on top of this. So I'll get my stamp and seal. And it's an eighth of an inch all around. There we go. Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? Mm, I think I'll go ahead and build this and then put it on there. Okay, so snowbank is going to go here down at the bottom like so. I will use glue for that so that I can get it centered perfectly. Probably too much. But <laughs> hey, what can I say? And you can see why I use the glue, because <laughs> it's it is a little bit of a trick to get that to match perfectly. And then, if you have any extra glue sticking out because you're messy like me, you can always erase it with a an adhesive eraser or a clean regular pencil eraser. All right, now our little penguin. And I'm trying to remember how I put him on. Uh, 
looks like okay <laughs> kind of tricky here what I did uh, because the there's a space there's the paper is not as high as the the snow bank <clears throat> what I did is I put glue dots at the bottom that it, were sit, going to be sitting on the snow bank put one and two and then on top of those I put another one so that was kind of kind of tricky so I'm gonna have to do this so I can see right on top of it and that adds some dimension do the other one come on you might have to twist it off okay so I have two glue dots on one on, on top of the other and then the other spot I'm going to use some mini dimensionals so mini dimensionals for the rest of the of it okay so we'll take the backs off of those And just going to set him on the snowbank like so. Now that might be a little too tedious for some, <laughs> but um, I like exactness. So, so his I did get a little glue there oozed, so I'm going to get it off now that it's dried. It's just really sticky. Whoops. <laughs> Off came the eyeball. I, I was too, too good at what I did. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Don't erase the eyeball. Just the glue. Come on. Let's put it back in place. Okay, there. His nose is clean now. Um, this is going to go here. Gorgeous, gorgeous. This is um, Wonderful Snowflake is what this is called. These are called, I think there's 24 in the package. Be careful when you pull it out. Just kind of pull it gently away so that you don't tear it. It's going to go there and we're going to put that on with a, a glue dot and actually I think I put some glue on that so let's see glue in the middle and then kind of on each end just touch it to your glue just touch it don't even try It leaves just a tiny bit of glue there for you. This is going to go down here. That was my daughter calling. <laughs> okay, so before we finish this, let's put it on the front of our card and we're going to. Um, this is our eight and a half by five and a half thick basic white it's going to go on the front but before we do that we want to this is going to wrap around the top front but we want to put a bow in it so I'm going to make a loop um, you can kind of see this is like twice as long as that a little bit more actually um, so I made my loop. I'm going to wrap this around and then push it through the little loop I just made and pull. And then I'm going to pull the, hold it in the center and pull the ends. And that's about the size I want. 
want my bow over here, so I'm going to put a glue dot. Where's my glue dots? <laughs> I'm going to put a glue dot behind it so that it stays in place. Pinch it off. Put it up here. Now that's about three quarters of an inch from the top. And then I'm going to put some some stamp and seal on the back so that when I take this and wrap it around, I don't want to pull too hard because you can see if I pull too hard, better hold it there while I'm pulling it, I guess. Push it in there, hold it, bring it around and push it in the back. make it straight, push it in the back, and then you can trim it. You don't need all that back there. Then it's going to go on the front. You can rearrange your, your bow however you want so that it looks prettier. And We'll put that on with some stamp, stamp and seal. Put a little bit more on there. It's only an eighth of an inch around, so there we go. Fluff up my bow a little bit. Season's Greetings is going to go on the front here and I'm going to put that on with some glue. So I'll put a little dot of glue here in the center. That'll give me some wiggle room so I can straighten it out so that it's level. Looks good. Now we have some of these small rhinestone basic jewels, one there, one here, and one at the on his cap right there. Now the inside we have a uh, four by five and a quarter piece of misty moonlight and we're going to put our little penguin inside sentiment on top of that and then we're going to put this on the inside like so So darling, darling, darling. Okay, that's it, guys. I know it was a little, a lot of, a little work, a lot of work, <laughs> but it was, it, hopefully, it was fun work, hopefully. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me to the end. Thanks for joining me, and um, check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com, to see what current uh, class kit I'm offering as a customer reward.